Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to have a live wallpaper or a video as a wallpaper. It's basically the same thing. So there's quite a lot of steps to do this and it's not too difficult to do. So I'll uh, take you through each step. So let's go, let's first go over to the computer and uh, get straight to it. So here are the four videos. You only need one video and the smaller the file size the better, but I'm going to transfer all four and decide later which one I want to use. So first thing you need to do is to plug in your flash drive, open it up and create a folder in all capitals called Share Factory. And then inside that folder, create another folder called Videos. Again, all capitals. And then inside there, copy your videos or video you want to use into that folder. And as you can see, they've been copied over. So the next thing you need to do is to create a text document because what we're going to do is basically trick the PS4 into to letting us set a video as a wallpaper and it basically thinks that it's an image but it's actually a video. So create a text document, call it, name the text document underscore live dash wallpaper underscore And then open up that yeah so, so basically we open up and we're going to do some commands to basically tell the ps4 to kind of activate it as a live wallpaper so the first line needs to be live underscore wp equals true and then the next line needs to be underscore live dash wallpaper underscore equals enable And uh, I forgot to put in spaces before and after the equals to so make sure you do that, otherwise it won't work. So for the third line, put home underscore BG equals one. And then for the last line, for the fourth line, put underscore home dash background equals true slash enable slash one. Sometimes true works, sometimes enable works, sometimes one works. So to make sure it definitely will work, uh, just do the slashes. And then if one of them doesn't work, then it would choose it would use the next one. And yeah, that's basically how it works. So once you've done that, save it, go up to file and save. Once you've saved it as the text document, then go up to file again and go down to save as, and then choose the all files op option. And then after the file name, put .bat, save that, then go up to file and save as again. And this time put .exe and the PS4 will read the text file and the exe file and basically enable live wallpapers. Kind of like what you get on phones nowadays, the way you get live wallpapers. It kind of enables it on PS4 and the PS4 basically reads the exe file. The .bat file is in case it doesn't work. So if, it, if this doesn't work, open it up on your computer and just double click on the .bat file and it should fix it. So once you've done that, now we can go back to the PS4, plug in your USB and go and make sure you have share factory downloaded and installed and then open up share factory once it's open go down to import content and then go to import videos 
go to import from USB and choose the video you want to import. I'm going to choose this prank video because it's the shortest and it'll just be faster and it will most likely work as well. Prank, baby! Yeah! Filthy prank! Filthy prank! You just got pranked, bro! <laughs> and as you can see, it is a video just to prove to you that I'm not lying, it is actually a video. So to import it, press X to select it and you get a little tick on it and then press square to actually import it. As you can see, this is only 11.43 MB, so it's it's really small, so it would most likely work. The smaller it is, the easier and the, the more likely it is to work. So next you need to back out and go up to videos and then choose new project. You have to choose a theme, so choose whichever theme you want, it really doesn't matter. And then when it says choose clips, make sure you choose the one you want. Make sure you choose the one you want as a background and then press square to start the project. So now what we need to do is delete the intro parts of the theme and the outro parts. So just scroll along with the touchpad and press square and then go over to delete clip and just do that until you're left with the video you want as a background. And as you can see, just to prove to you, this is still a video. If I play it, prank, baby, yeah, filthy prank, filthy prank. You just got pranked, bro. <laughs> the ending got cut off for some reason, but it doesn't really matter. I can always fix that later or whatever. And sometimes it turns out actually being the whole video anyway. So I don't know. It's just a preview that might be cut off. So yeah, as you can see, this is a video. So next thing you need to do is to render it or export it as they call it by pressing the options button. Now the first time I did this it didn't work, for some reason it just got an error. So I scrolled to the beginning of the clip and then I saved the project and then exported and it worked. So next thing you need to do is to quit out of share factory you can save the project if it, it's probably best to in case something happens then you can quickly go back go back to your previous home screen and close share factory and then go into capture gallery and then go to share factory and you'll see the video there and just to show you this is still a video i'll play it And as you can see, it is a video. So the next thing you need to do is to press options on it. And because of that text file and the .exe file, it should say set as background. So you just click on that. And then go through setting as a background you can choose to have the content area darkened i chose that but for some reason it didn't really work so it might not work for you but yeah you can change your color and all that and then as you can see it's set as a background and that's how you do it so if you can't hear any audio just go into your system settings and turn on system music and it should enable the audio So yeah guys that's it, I hope this works for you, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.